The overall goal of this protocol is to provide access to embryonic chicken eyes in an in vitro setting to enable in-depth study of complex developmental pathways in the embryo. In the embryonic chicken, studying the eye is often difficult due to eyelid development, embryo movement, and the growth of extra embryonic tissues. Compounds such as drugs and inhibitors can also have lethal effects on the embryo, making it difficult to use these compounds to modulate gene pathways. Advances in in vitro tissue culturing have allowed scientists to isolate these tissues and eliminate many of these aforementioned barriers. Our protocol is advantageous in that it allows us to study the eye as a whole, including all of the tissues that have the potential to interact during development, such as the neural retina and the retinal pigmented epithelium. Begin by autoclaving the materials to ensure that all solutions and equipment are sterile prior to the procedure. To do this, autoclave two liters of distilled water and one liter of chick saline along with a box of tissues, semi-porous filter paper, wire mesh, water containers, and disposable glass pipettes. Thoroughly sterilize the incubator shelves and door using 70% ethanol. Then fill the containers with autoclaved distilled water and preheat the incubator to 37 degrees Celsius. Pre-warm the nutrient medium along with a tube of the antibiotic penicillin streptomycin in the incubator. Lay paper towel across the workspace and sterilize with 70% ethanol. Sterilize all forceps and scissors. With the chicken head in autoclaved chick saline, bisect the chick head in the midline, leaving some tissue intact around each eye. The extra tissue will help the eye maintain some tension in the culture, as well as assisting with nutrient uptake throughout the eye.